in our homes and in our cars. We think of worship as our experience with and our response to the presence of God. Depending upon our background, we can think of worship in many different forms. But for us, the definition and idea of worship has become our musical response to what God has done and our request for Him to do more. This morning, as we close out this passage of Scripture, I pray that we will see that everything that Jesus talked to this woman about is intertwined in worship. For her to be free to worship in spirit and in truth, the culture of racial inequality would have to be exposed and dealt with. Her incomplete understanding about herself, about others, and about God's nature and character would have to be disrupted so it could be transformed. We can't change how we think unless we're confronted with the fact that we might not think rightly. We can't learn until we admit we don't know. In fact, haven't we been in arguments where you begin discovering you're wrong and then you decide, I'm just going to keep arguing because I'd rather not admit that I've been wrong? We end up in these arguments where we just keep arguing, completely recognizing, you know what, they have a point, but I'm not willing to let go of mine. Until we let God disrupt our understanding, we can't ever be transformed into His knowledge. 